Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region, we are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is QTV News. Good morning. This is the Lifestyle News brought to you by QTV. I'm James Devlin. Two women accused of drug trafficking in Peru could face a six month investigation if their guilty pleas aren't accepted. The Peruvian prosecutor in the case made the comment after Dungannon woman Michaela McCollum and Melissa Reed, who's from Scotland, made a second court appearance. He didn't give details of the private hearing, but suggested that the woman's confessions haven't yet satisfied prosecutors. Police in Oma have confirmed that a man acting suspiciously in and around a play park in the town has been identified. Several reports of a man carrying a hurling stick and talking to children at Todd's Field on the Brookmound Road were received by the PSNI. After investigations, the man was identified and spoken to. Police say he posed no risk, but he has been given advice regarding his actions. A volunteer-led support service to older people is to be rolled out in County Fermanagh. The Red Cross project will offer support to those living in rural locations. The Neighbourhood Links project launched this week in Lack. It's being supported by a grant of nearly half a million pounds from the Big Lottery Fund to offer individual support to older people who feel they'd benefit from meeting new people. Volunteers will help people with shopping and getting out and about, filling in forms or help with the transition from hospital to home. Well, that's the latest. Stay up to date online with Lifestyle and listen to Q Radio. Good morning.